The Philippine Air Force is in the midst of a transformation effort aimed at boosting its capability to protect the country against all forms of security threats and aid Filipinos in times of disasters. With the arrival of unmanned aerial systems, the Philippine Air Force soared to greater heights in utilizing various surveillance missions, including tracking down terrorists in the jungle and urban areas, battlefield, real-time surveillance, maritime, and search and rescue. In this video, we will see the acquisition of Hermes for 50 and Hermes 900 systems for the Philippine Air Force Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Acquisition Project. Looking at how much it costs, how many units will there be, but more importantly, we will look at what it is capable of and when we could see it in action. The Philippines is not new to drone operations. Being an operator of the Boeing and Citiscan Eagle and her Q11B Raven, a small unmanned aerial vehicle system. It also has other UAV systems, like the locally made Raptor and Night Falcon, which have seen action during the Zambonga crisis. But these UAVs are small and less capable compared to Hermes 900 and 450. Elbit Systems first offered the Hermes 900 in 2014 as a maritime patrol solution for the country. Although they have been offering the smaller Hermes for 50 to the Philippine Air Force since 2012, but due to other compelling needs in the armed forces of the Philippines, they decided not to prioritize the land-based unmanned aerial system. But only in 2017, when the threat of terrorism including the Marawi City crisis and ISIS-related threats, narcotics trade, and cross-border crime and terrorism has given the Philippine government a reason to push through with the acquisition to provide the armed forces of the Philippines with sufficient surveillance capabilities. The Philippine Air Force choose the Elbit system Hermes for 50 and Hermes 900 system because of its full integration with the existing c i star system of the armed forces of the Philippines. The acquisition was a government-to-government -government with the State of Israel, which means that no more bidding. In 2018, President Duterte signed the project with an approved budget of 8.4 billion pesos for three Hermes 900 systems and one Hermes for 50 systems. Each system has three unmanned aerial vehicles and supporting equipment. Elbit Systems also included a spare used Hermes for 50 UAV as part of the deal for a total of nine Hermes 900 unmanned aerial vehicles. And for Hermes for 50 unmanned aerial vehicles, these units will be operated by the 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing. The Hermes for 50 unmanned aircraft system is the air vehicle a tactical long-endurance, multi-payload UAV. The Hermes for 50 is a robust versatile airframe, equipped with an advanced and highly efficient power plant, fully redundant flight computers, avionics, and power supplies contribute to its record-breaking liability. The Hermes for 50 air vehicle can carry a wide variety of multiple internal and external payloads, Since becoming operational in the Israel Defense Force in the mid-1990s, Hermes Family Systems logged more than 300,000 operational flight hours in more than 40,000 successful combat missions for various forces around the globe. Based on decades of Israeli unmanned aerial system operational expertise, the Hermes for 50 is the most versatile and reliable unmanned aircraft platform in the world. but reliability and versatility are just one side of the equation. The Hermes Ground Control Station provides the other half of this winning method. With dual mission capability, each air vehicle is assigned to a single operator. The Hermes Ground Control Station is characterized by an intuitive mission-centric design with a high level of automation.
the operator can navigate the UAV and point the payload by simply dragging and dropping their on-screen icons. By selecting the flyby camera mode, the operator essentially slaves the air vehicle to the payload. While the operator manipulates the payload, the system autonomously adjusts the air vehicle flight profile to allow optimal observation, freeing the operator to focus on the video. With advanced flight automation and an embedded mission trainer, no piloting skills are required and operator training is fast and cost-effective. A typical UAS mission is comprised of numerous and complex tasks. The Hermes for 50 high level of automation and intuitive operational concept enables the operator to focus on the most crucial tasks and delegate all other tasks to the system's automatic controls. The Hermes 900 is the next generation medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial system, integrating multiple cutting edge payloads, a versatile and reliable air vehicle, and battle-proven intuitive mission-centric control. The Hermes 900 is the ultimate UAS solution for today's complex challenges. With improved payload capacity, longer range, extended endurance, higher flight performance and weather resistance, the Hermes 900 air vehicle can perform longer missions in the hardest environments. A two and a half meter long internal payload bay and external wing hardpoints enable easier customization to a wide variety of missions using various multispectral payload configurations. Stand-in configuration, the Hermes 900 wide area optical and SIG in payloads enable effective coverage, detection of multiple and covert targets, and pinpointing selected ones, thus closing the sensor to shooter cycle quicker than ever before. In standoff configuration, the Hermes 900 flies remotely from the area of interest, exploring and gathering information without being detected. In maritime patrol configuration, the system covers large water areas, integrating I-STAR capabilities into the Navy's maritime data network, thus decisively contributing to overall maritime situational awareness. The Hermes 900 Integral Satellite Communications Link the air vehicle to the Hermes Ground Control Station. The Hermes Ground Control Station, common to the entire Hermes unmanned aerial system family, is characterized by an intuitive mission-centric design, with a high level of automation enabling operators to perform complex missions, while focusing on payload outputs and mission-critical aspects, and relieving them from an excess load related to technical tasks. The Hermes Ground Control Station offers the unique capability to perform joint flight missions, simultaneously operating to air vehicles from a single ground station, using to discrete data links. This unique capability enables unmatched operational flexibility in managing the Hermes fleet. The Hermes 900 is designed and built to meet Philippine Air Force certification requirements. As the world's armed and security forces are putting more and more emphasis on complex unmanned aerial system missions, the need for high-performance multi-payload systems of the Philippine Air Force, the Hermes 900 highly autonomous nature, class-leading payload capacity, a rich variety of cutting-edge payloads, and network-enabled ground control system operation, make it the ideal solution in the Philippines' surveillance and in patrolling the border. The Philippine Air Force can also deploy the Hermes 900 fleet for maritime search and rescue. Using a payload like the New Life Raft deployment capability, this could be useful in assisting ships in distress on the high seas or even within Philippine territorial and archipelagic water, allowing faster response and saving lives. From 2019 to 2020, the Philippine Air Force has received full delivery of 9 Hermes 900 and for Hermes for 50 medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicles. And is expected by mid-2021, the full operationalization of one Hermes 900 unmanned aerial system and one Hermes for 50 unmanned aerial system, while the two other Hermes 900 unmanned aerial system, with three UAVs each, will probably reach partial operationalization by the second quarter of 2021. Today's patron and YouTube member shout-out goes to 
Jesse Contreras, Brian Cabilia, and many others. You're awesome. Thank you so much for all your support. It's a cornerstone of what we're doing here, and you all deserve nothing but gratitude.